Good afternoon. I am Dr. Elena de la Vega and I am a poverty researcher for Memphis. Today, I will talk about older adults in poverty and COVID-19. COVID-19 has had a tremendous impact on this community. And as we can see here, uh, the number of cases have been generally younger. Um, in general, COVID-19 has affected those who are under 74 or 75. And as you can see here, 94% of those are younger than 75, whereas only 6% are 75 or older. However, those who have died tend to be older. Seven million age for those who have died is 75. Out of the 116 cases, 58 have been older than 75. And the vast majority of those who have died are older than 55. There are a number of reasons for this. Among them, the fact that comorbidities, which tend to be more common among older adults, have a tremendous impact. COVID-19 tends to hurt those with high blood pressure, cardiovascular disease, and diabetes. And these are diseases that generally affect older adults. However, not all older adults are affected equally. Older Americans who are not in poverty are much more able to avoid COVID-19. If they work, they may be able to work remotely, thus protecting their lives, or they may be retired, and that keeps them away from dangerous places. In their home life, they may be completely able to avoid outings and not expose themselves, and they may be able to get everything they need delivered, and therefore not exposing themselves to other people. Older Americans who are in poverty generally find themselves unable to retire and must work. And they tend to work in service industries or hospitality that require that they interact with other people and expose themselves. Often, they need to use public transportation. 30% of people in poverty in Memphis um, the households in the poverty, high poverty areas do not have access to a car and therefore must use public transportation and expose themselves to others. Because of work and because of their poverty, they are unable to avoid outings and they are therefore exposed to the disease. They are exposed to other people. And because of poverty, again, they're not able to afford deliveries and must go out to the grocery store and to obtain their necessities, therefore being placed at much greater risk. Additionally, if they are not able to have health insurance, they may delay um, at getting care or on they may not be able to go to a hospital until they are very ill. If they're sharing a house with younger people, they're also exposed through younger people going outside and uh, bringing the disease home to them. So for older adults in poverty, COVID-19 is much worse. Uh, poverty numbers in Memphis are quite high and 15%, 15.8% of older adults in general are in poverty. These numbers are much higher among African Americans and Latinos who might not have social security. Now, social security does not often take people out of poverty and a large number of working class Americans fall into poverty once they retire. Here we can see the map of the concentration of older Americans, 55 and older, who are in poverty. And of course, they are in the areas we expected to see. We also know that these maps uh, correlate with 
race. And so African Americans, older African Americans are getting impacted much more. Here we can see the percent of older Americans 65 and older. And one of the interesting things that we can see here is that the percent is much lower and it tends to be uh, higher in areas that are not so much in poverty. This is because poverty kills and therefore those in poverty tend to die much younger than 65. Um, COVID-19 is having a tremendous impact on our elders, but it is so much worse for our elders in poverty. Thank you.